South Africa is from the industry point of view. Same as in 1993, there's just more of it. The great economist, Nobel Prize winning economist, uh, Bob Solow once said, economists use the word structure to indicate they're talking about something deep, but they're not quite sure what it is. We want to be a bit more precise about this, and we focus much more on structure as the technical relations between industries and how those have developed, rather than simply the shares of industries in production, which is the way it's normally looked at. There are two key things in economic development. One is shifting resources into from less productive into more productive activities, and that's I think that's crucial and everyone recognizes that. But the second thing is you want those more productive activities to be well linked to the economy so that any benefits they have spill over into the rest of the economy. So a large part of the structure we were looking at was that those linkages, have those changed in ways that make the spillovers stronger? And we find that they didn't really change them as much as that. I am a firm believer that we can't explore things and let, until we've described them. It's perhaps an iterative process. We, we describe a bit and then we try to explore them and we realize we need a deeper description or some other aspects. When we change a policy or when there's a commodity boom, how does that feed into the economy? We know it has some beneficial effect, but which sectors is it benefiting? The linkages between those sectors, how do they spread? We, spend a lot of time building a consistent data set that, so that we know when we're comparing the past with the present, we're comparing like with like. We, we spend a lot of time on that. So now we've got a, a data set which allows us to describe what the changes have been. Now the next step is not for us, this is a public data set, it's available through WIDA. We, we can encourage other people to say, can we find out why these changes have happened? How can we change them? What can policymakers do to get the kinds of changes they want in the economy? And data is not something which falls out of the sky. Data is something that's constructed and it takes hard work to do. And that's what we've been doing. Thank you.